Anime games might be done if this doesn't happen. With the recent release of Storm Connections and Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, we were hoping that these games would be, you know, for, like great and good for the year, but these games have strongly disappointed. JJK has set a worldwide bad record in refunds. With over 100k refunds, 100k refunds already. The game just came out and they're wanting refunds already. And I understand because JJK is not the most exciting game right now. I feel like the combat the combo system is not great for the average anime player. Like in Storm, you can do your average moves without having to know much about the game. With JJK, I had to learn every single combo button mash and how to play the game correctly. And with Connections, Connections was just terrible when it first launched. When it first launched, there was no player match. There was no way to invite your friends. There was nothing. But to release a game in 2024 without the ability to play your friends, that's criminal. That's really criminal. It's like we're going back in time almost. And not even talk about both of these, like, um, both of these anime games, the stories are terrible. It goes from cinematics to, like, a little close cinematic. You're thinking, that, okay, it's going to be like this the whole story, but no. You go straight to slideshows. Slideshows consume the whole, whole, whole story mode. It's terrible. Like, I don't want to sit there and just watch captions, pictures. It's it's not fun. It's not enjoyable. It's not relatable to, to, to the anime I like. Like, I want to see cinematic. We're in 2024, and I can get no cinematics off the animes I watch. But th there's, there's, like, one last hope. For, for anime games this year. And I think Bandai is realizing this too. If Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is a bad game, I don't I don't see another a potential anime game that could get people to buy more like into Bandai's product. Because time and time over and over again we've been disappointed this year with the anime games and Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero might be our last chance. I've seen the trailer. It looks good. But the trailers always somehow look good. And we just can't get the games to come out good. It's weird. It, like, if I'll be honest, the last decent anime game that really came out was... I, I would say Demon Slayer. The Demon Slayer um franchise. That was, like, the last anime game that really came out. And that was good. Because on, on day one, it was nice. It stayed like that throughout the whole time. So, yeah, that's the only game that really came out that I could think of that was really nice. Shinobi, Shinobi Striker ha had, like, a little comeback. Naruto to Boruto, Shinobi Striker had a little comeback. But the game has died recently. I don't think no one's really on it. I don't really play the game like that. And Dragon Ball has to be our, our last chance. They, they they make updates to Xenoverse still, which I think that she, they should just, you know... I think that I think they're gonna have like a last update soon and strongly focus on um Sparking Zero. Cause yet we don't have a release date yet on Sparking Zero. So hopefully that clip gets cleared up. But but yeah, that might be the last time that, you know, we get a nice anime game because if this game is bad, I don't see what I don't know what Bandai's gonna do from this point on. Because it's just been disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. Like JJK having a hundred K refunds is crazy like that's record-breaking numbers not just for anime games but for games all around that's crazy but let me know what you guys think man comment down in the description below like let me know your opinions on the anime games and the future of them and that's it peace I'm back and I'm